Hey y'all, it's your girl Jess Bree coming at you with another video. So, in this video, I'm going to do a reaction on a young lady by the name of Chrissy Marie. Um, in real life, she probably would be a friend of mine. But then again, I'm not sure because her kids are too little. I, my son is, he's 13, about to be 13, and I got a 25-year-old daughter, so... I don't know if we would have much in common, but personality wise, like we're like she's like real even kill, even tone. So and that's my personality too. I don't know what her sign is. I, I really don't believe in all of that stuff, but I am a Gemini. I don't know what her sign is. But um she would have probably, you know, had I had a little kids, she would have she would definitely be somebody that I would um vibe what you know as far as um friend girl home girl whatever um and so i said that to say that this is not to bash or um you know bring harm to anyone but this is just a a reaction i had some thoughts and opinions that i wanted to share um i am 43 uh, like I said, I have two children by two men. I am a baby mother. And, um, so here it goes. This is my reaction. And, uh, feel free to hit the like, share, subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment, a comment in the comment section. Um, I do not delete comments unless they are spam or just downright disrespectful. You understand? You're... All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on here. Subscriber, I always appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for always supporting me through this horrible time in my life. Um, I went on Instagram recently and exposed some things about this man that I had been in a relationship with for the past one year. And so many of you guys were supportive of our relationship. I had just gotten out of a relationship with my girl's father. Okay, so see that right there? She said so many, uh, so many was um, supportive of her relationship. I was not one of those people. Of course, she is a grown adult. She could do whatever the hell she wants to do. Okay, again, this is an opinion slash, I mean, you can call it judging, whatever. That's what we do. We're humans, you know, so call it what you want. I'm going to say what I got to say, and you could either turn it off, or, you know, keep it pushing or staying, you know, and um, whatever. So when she announced that her and the girl's father had broke up or whatever, and that they actually were never married because she led us to believe that they were married, um, you know, I was a little shocked or whatever. But, um, and then... When she mentioned the new guy, you know, shortly after the girl's father, you know, I felt, I did feel away, And I, I, I made a comment in the comment section, I believe, um, that I was just not comfortable. And again, this is my opinion um, with her bringing a man, another man around her children, um, especially girls. I was very uncomfortable and I think a lot of people were. Um, but of course, you know, as humans, most of the time we only want to hear the good, you know, I'm not saying that she's like that. I try to take constructive criticism, you know, um, from my best interest, you know, everything I would, you know, my, I have a mom who, you know, she has checked me in my past, even as a grown, grown woman, you know, and there's times where I had to like check myself and say, well, damn, you know, she, you know, she's right. So anyway, let's, let's continue. And a lot of you guys just thought maybe it was too soon for me to be stepping into another relationship and that I needed to take time for myself and just relax, chill out, focus on me and the kids. And you know, I don't mean to keep stopping this. This might end up pretty, uh, I don't know, our video 36 minutes. So 
I'm going to try not to stop as much. But I had to say, she said that um, the part about spending some time alone, a lot of people, a lot of women, and I'm going to just speak for the women, um, do not know how to be alone. Um, and I think that, you know, after being with some for so someone, being with someone for so long, um, regardless of the kind of work he did, cause he traveled, so he wasn't home as much. Chrissy also has a history of alcohol, which, you know, um, I, I, I commend her and I thank her for, you know, um, uh, speaking on that. And I'm just curious to know if she's ever gotten therapy because a lot of times we, you know, we jump from man to man and we're looking for our happiness. We're not thinking about our children. And then you end up in this mess as we, you know, continue to find out. Kids and that's exactly what I should have done. The truth of the matter is... Now, I will say... Not keep meaning to stop this. I will say the fact that she said that that's what she should have done, I commend her for that because, you know, a lot of women would say, I, you know, I don't care what y'all say. I'm going to do me, this, that, and the other. So, and she's not ghetto like that. So she's not even... That's not even the type of energy that she, you know, presents anyway. But um, I, I just want to, um, I do want to commend her when she, you know, when she acknowledges, when she acknowledges, you know, where she went wrong. Like we all have done. And I'm not saying I'm, nobody's perfect. That goes without saying. I'm just critiquing a video, giving my opinion, and that's just what it is. That this person that I was in a relationship with was my first love when I was a teenager. I'm not going to cry during this video because I can't cry. I just can't let my emotions spill over like that anymore. I've been crying for three days in a row. And I'm really trying to just stay strong. So if you see me, take a break and Save big and sleep better with a new mattress from Raymore & Flanagan. Save hundreds on select mattresses from Tempur-Pedic, Purple, and more. Find the right mattress for you from our... Remove myself from the video for a little bit. It's because I needed to go and recompose myself. Shut up. Butt out, boobs up, and get it back together, sister, because there's probably going to be a few of those. So I have two girls right now that you're going to hear in the background. Um, I'm kind of a single mom. I have two older boys that live with my mom. Three girls. They're six, four, and two. And their dad is a truck driver. I was with him for seven years. And in the end, last at the beginning of last year, 2021, I just wasn't in the same love space that I used to be in with him and I just realized that our relationship was just over. He's a truck driver and he's never home. So I'm kind of single momming it up and that's why you're going to hear the little girls in the background because none of them are in school. My six year old is at school right now but my four year old and my two year old are home with me. So that's just, we're going to have to deal with the noise in the background. When I got out of my relationship with their dad. I immediately started seeing my first love from high school. I never stopped loving him through all these years and he told me he never stopped loving me through all these years either, which I believe him. Um, we you know, I'm not sure. I'm just looking now to see it and seeing that she has her comments turned off on this video. And that's not something that she does. So I'm wondering if she did that because of the backlash. And, and it could be, you know. Um, 
I'm not saying, you know, you put yourself out there for people, you know, to think you, you know, you're sharing with people that support you, but then the people that disagree, you know, they can kind of go in sometimes. So I understand. Um, I'm just not sure if it was off. Cause one thing about my, um, I noticed about my videos is now that I have, I have to go in and pick the option to put the comments on. So that could also be whatever. I don't know. But, I, you know, I'm just not sure if she did it because she was getting so much a backlash or something, whatever. All right. I started dating in May of last year, of 2021. And I posted him all over my social media. The last year you guys have seen him. His children and my children are all three the exact same age. So it was like big, huge, happy playdates every time we met up. And everyone got along. And it was like the Brady Bunch. 2.0 so many people called us that the Brady Bunch and we were just one big happy family for the last year so it was all rainbows and butterflies all over my social media and everything was great I jumped ship so quickly after the girl's dad and into this relationship with this person so quickly because I felt safe with him I've known him for 20 years and I trusted him Okay, I got an issue with this because she's saying she's known him for 20 years. Now, knowing someone and 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 knowing of someone is two totally different things. I get it. Like, she knows him from high, you know, from high school. But then you go your own way. You make your own families. So, I'm wondering, in the seven years... That she was with the girl's father. Did she communicate with this fella? I mean, because that's a little suspect. If you got a man and you communicating with another man. I, you know, maybe the girl's father was okay with it. I don't know. Um, but if that was the case... Um, I would think that you would be able to pick up on some of his character flaws. You know what I mean? Um, and, and and it's also very dangerous to go into a situation without, you know, being um, seeking your own happiness when you have three little girls. That's what irritates me. You get what I'm saying? Um, because today, women, I'm just speaking for women. We got this thing about wanting to find our happiness. And when you are a parent, your happiness come last, ma'am. Sorry. Your happiness, it comes last. And I don't care. You can disagree. That's fine. Put it in the comment, whatever. But um, when you have kids, children, you know, it's not about you no more. You have to make them a priority. And I understand her, possibly, you know, wanting to date and things of that nature. But you have to be very careful about getting the kids involved so soon. Now, some people may disagree. I had a situation. I was dating a guy. Um, we introduced our kids fairly quickly. We had kids, you know, a kid, because at the time I only had one. Our daughters were the same age. So that worked out. You know, we were able to introduce them. And, and, and for the most part, my daughter... I've only introduced a couple guys as my actual boyfriend. So, you know, if she was introduced to anybody else, it was just like, hey, this is my friend. You know, a casual friend. Nobody spent the night. She wasn't waking up to a man in my bed. Um, so, therefore, you know, I wasn't 
necessarily hesitant to introduce her to a man because far as she know, he was just a friend. Um, but like I said, um, you know, when you have kids close in age, that's a night that's, you know, that helps. That really helps. Um, and, and that's the difficult part about dating because in a perfect world, you know, you will wait to do, you will wait to introduce your children to someone because you never know how it's going to work out. And obviously this is not working out. And so the kids got introduced to a man that now they have, you know, now they got a baby brother, sister coming along with a man that's, that, that's just going to, you know, that's not going to be in the household. But anyway, let's continue. And he's just always been this good, fun, loving, spiritual guy that I've always chatted with until just a few days ago he's just someone that i was safe with i felt really safe with him i've known him forever he's a good guy he was he's just getting out of a marriage and we just we lord have mercy see this is this is why when people are on the internet and they present like they're all put together and granted she said you know she has confessed at times to, you know, having this image, but, you know, of course, behind the scenes, you never really know what's going on. And to date somebody that just got out of a marriage, I, w I just don't get it. I do not get it. So that's just, I don't get it. We sank together. It was just a safe place for me to be with him, and I really loved him. The first red flag that I saw that I didn't see back then as a red flag, but I see it now as a red flag. Um, the first time in June that he told me he loved me, he brought me flowers and plants. I was making spaghetti for me, my three girls, and his three kids. I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. Are these for me? And he was like, yeah, and I just wanted to bring them to you because I wanted to tell you that I love you. And I was like, what did you say? And he gave me a hug and he said, I said, I loved you. And I was like, oh my God, like butterflies. Like, I was like, guess what? I love you too. That's when our fairy tale romance started. We ate dinner, the kids played, everything was que sera, sera beautiful night and then he's like I have to leave early today tonight because I'm gonna go watch a movie with my friend and I said okay that's cool what friend and he's like oh just one of my old girlfriends and I was like what and he's like yeah I made the plans with her before me and you started dating and I was like Formula Similac, Elementum, and Elecare were recalled after being linked to a bacterial infection. Parents of children who became sick after digesting baby formulas in a recent re- So you just told me you loved me, but yet you're leaving to go watch a movie with a girlfriend of yours. Am I hearing this right? And he was like, yeah, he, there was, he saw nothing wrong with that, you guys. And that was the first red flag way back in June of 2011. I don't know why I didn't walk away then and just know him for what he was, but I really loved him. I was in love with him. Can I just, I just, <laughs> oh Lord. She, okay, it's so easy to put the blame on him. She didn't know him for what he really was. And, and that is true to a certain extent. He, he, he sounds like a pretty shitty person, according to her. But her part in it is that she stayed knowing this. You're 38, not 28, 38. And time's going by. Sorry, Chrissy. I'm going to have to raise my voice a little bit because I'm going to treat you like the little sister I never had. Okay. I'm starting to notice when he comes over, he's putting his phone on silent. His phone's always face down. 
instead of face up like I who that's I started noticing that when he would put his phone down on the counter or the couch or whatever he would always have it turned down and I just never thought anything of it but I I mean I thought it was odd but I thought it was just me being a jealous female and there's so much that I want to tell you guys the story is gonna be just all over the place so I started noticing when things wouldn't go his way or if I would disagree with something that he said or did or I questioned something about him that he would disappear and I wouldn't see him for several days on end. He wouldn't answer any of my texts, any of my social media messages. I just wouldn't hear from him. I didn't didn't know where he was at, what he was doing. And I just thought, okay, maybe he just needs space apart, time away. And then after a, a few days, he would just message me and just simply say, I miss you. And I would say, oh, I miss you too, come over. And he would be right back to, you know, my house and we would meet up and everything would be fine again. And I would just tell him, I would say, hey, I really wanna talk about what happened the other day to make you have just left and not have talked to me for several days. And he would totally gaslight me and tell me if I continue to talk about what happened between us, he was just gonna leave and that he's not in a place right now to talk about anything that happened. And that happened, you guys, all the time. And I would tell him, well, how are we ever supposed to fix what happened if we can't talk about what happened so we can know what to do for next time so we won't be in the same position again? Like, what did I do wrong? Let me know, help me so I can, you know, be better in our relationship. And I, you know, I don't want you to feel like you have to leave again. And he would just be like, I didn't come over here to talk about that. And just gaslight me and never talk about what happened. All the time that happened, we never, in the whole year we were together, we never got anything resolved about why we got into an argument or why we fought. Slowly but surely, my voice in our relationship was just getting lost. And it was getting silenced. And I just accepted it, you guys. Like, if you guys personally know me, you know I'm not the one to just roll over, sweep something under the rug, and just forget about it. I like to talk about my problems. And I like to resolve them and try to figure out what we can do to move forward. But I loved him so much, and I believed his lies that I would just accept that he's not going to talk about him, so let's just forget it and act like it never happened. There was a few times when he would let me, or he wouldn't let me express myself, but I would get loud and I would be like, I'm gonna say this because my feelings are hurt because you did this and you're gonna sit here and listen. And I would tell him how I felt and he would just say, well, I didn't say that. And if that's what you heard I said, then that's wrong. I'm sorry. I'm starting to interrupt again. <laughs> yeah. I just don't understand how she and her first trimester not gagging. <laughs> I'm just sitting here because I know she was like three months pregnant or something. Bitch, I be throwing up all over the place. I could barely, I mean, I, I just, I was nauseous all day. I didn't throw up uh, throughout the day, but I just, oh my God. But anyway. Sorry you feel that way, but your feelings are inadequate. And what you're telling me is not really what happened because that's not what happened. And I would just be so perplexed that this man, grown man, was just lying to himself about what happened. So at first, I just totally thought that he was just not wanting to admit any of his faults. Okay, last chance. Enter Honey's giveaway now, and you could win this, this. 
Here we go. And then as the year went by, I started seeing and believing that I think he's believing. He truly believes that he didn't say these things. Or if he knows that he said them, he just doesn't want to take responsibility for saying them because he doesn't want to feel that um, that guilt or that inside shame. Or he doesn't want to take responsibility for what he said. And I just honestly thought it was the first option that he just was just, I started realizing, I think he's sick and he really believes these lies that he tells himself that he never does anything wrong and those were really big red flags for me but it was too late by then i just really wanted it to work with him because he was my first love and i was in love with him and our kids got along and it was a beautiful love story and everything so when he would ghost me, it would be for three or four days at a time. And then eventually, one of the last times that he ghosted me, it turned into two weeks. And this was um, in March. And I didn't talk to him, I didn't hear from him. I was constantly messaging him, telling him I'm sorry for whatever I did. Let's just make it work, I'm sorry. I love you I miss you and he would just ignore everything he would okay I got a question or maybe not a question but it's, it's an opinion how dangerous is this to some of you all that you know she has three daughters and here she is begging a man or um, you know uh chasing this man messaging him try you know not hearing from him for two weeks how dangerous is that energy to pass on to your daughter your daughters you know um and i get it like but it's the age that stands out you're 38. You're not 30. You're not 31. I think because she's already spoken about wanting to have more children, that she just convinced herself that somehow, some way, this is going to work out. But unfortunately, it's just a bad way to for your girls to know that this story I, I just would wonder how I mean listen someday she'll probably share this story with her daughters and say hey you know don't do what mommy did obvious you know that's what we do as parents, we share and we say don't do this or whatever. But I just, I think it's very interesting. Block me on social media and he would just ignore me. So this last time. I, let me say this. I, I, I think I didn't articulate that as well as I would like to have. But it's, it's what I meant to say was, how do you encourage self-esteem to your daughters and tell them to love themselves, you know, when you're doing things like this? And I have my story and I have my issues, um, but I was much younger, okay, uh, than 38, I think by if 38, if you don't have it, you ain't gonna get it, 
And it just leaves room for some other ninja to come in there and and and, and do the same shit all over again. But all right, carry on. Okay, no. So me and his his ex-wife started to become friends. And she was always telling me, and I have a whole year worth of text messages between me and her of her telling me, Chrissy, you're such a good person. You're you're such a great catch. This man is going to break your heart and ruin you. Don't believe And see, now, okay. I'm sorry I stopped. <laughs> this is exactly what we, you know, you be, I, we hear people say this all the time. Talk to the ex. Talk to the ex. And I'm not saying, I know sometimes there are, you know, obviously, um, exes that are, what's the word, um, scorned. But she know this lady was not scorned. It's not like this lady, she made this lady, she didn't make this lady sound like she was some scorned lover. Ma'am, she was telling you what to look out for. And you chose not to listen. But you want to make yourself the victim, even though he showed you who he was. You are not the victim. Believe his lies, don't believe anything he says. And then she always warned me from the beginning. He's going to ghost you on holidays and he's going to ruin holidays. And I'm like, what kind of a person would ruin holidays? And... Pretty soon the holidays come up, you guys, and he's ghosting me on all the holidays, ruining holidays, picking a fight with me a day before holidays, just so he doesn't have to come to a holiday. Thanksgiving, he was supposed to come to my mom's house and he didn't show up. He got all dressed up, he told me he was coming, and he just didn't show up. And that was the first holiday that he ghosted me on. So Christmas, he was here at Christmas. He made Christmas dinner for me and my family. We did Christmas movies. We watched the Griswolds and like um, a Christmas vacation. We spent all day at my house and it was just a really nice time. That was probably the only holiday that I remember spending it with him and it just being a good holiday. But, um, and let's just um, put it out there. The whole time um, she was having unprotected, um, un, uh, unprotected sex with this man after he he didn't show up on many occasions. I mean, that's that's in the midst of all of what's going on here, because obviously because she's pregnant. Here comes his birthday. He ghosted me on his birthday. I told him I was going to barbecue at my house and bring him food over to his house because his kids were at his house. And I was going to barbecue carne asada and bring it to his house. And he just didn't want to hang out on his birthday. So I was like, okay, whatever. Um, oh, before then, Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, this was like another huge red flag, you guys. Ugh. Valentine's Day. So if you follow me on Facebook, Valentine's Day. Um, oh no, before then, we were all swimming with his ex-wife, the kids, at our gym. Because we all go to the same gym. So we were swimming at our gym. His ex-wife was like, hey guys, I really love you guys together. You guys are great. She's like, I just want to let you guys know I'm available to watch the girls on Valentine's Day. If you guys want to go out and do something special. And I thought this was... Oh, shit. The sweetest gesture ever. So I jumped on it. He just really wanted me to hate his ex-wife. And, and I... Now, granted, like I said, there are scorn lovers, scorn exes out there. Do this sound like a scorn ex? Why the fuck would she lie? I mean, she offered... Well, you know, some a lot... People have sinister motives, granted. But I, it just, I don't get that vibe. Didn't sound like she got that vibe. 
because she was willing to let the kid like to let the lady watch the kid. So if you trust your kids with this woman, you shouldn't trust what the hell she said. I really didn't think that M was going to be on board with it because he just, the whole time me and his wife were friends, he really wanted me to hate her. He would tell me all these things about her and that she's like the devil and just all these bad things. And he would get so uncomfortable when he would see us talking or when we would be at the same place at the same time. And what me and her wanted was for her and this man to just get along and to be in a good space together. I always told him it's really healthy for kids to see their parents divorced, broken up or not, especially being divorced and broken up. The only the only people that it's going to benefit the two ex-spouses talking and <clears throat> being kosher to one another at drop-offs and pickups, it's going to benefit the kids. So, me and her just wanted what was best for the kids and that was for all of us to get along we were on the same page but he was not this person really 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 wanted me to hate his ex-wife and I just couldn't do that because I need to see for myself if this person is good or bad and finally he had brainwashed me enough that he was like it's either me or her it's either me or my ex-wife because I'm not gonna be here anymore if you're gonna continue to be cordial with her and chat with her and be friends with her. It's I'm not buying the brainwashing bit. It's another way to be the victim. Chrissy, you knew what the hell you was getting into. This man ghosted you multiple times, you know, did all kinds of fugazi shit that, I mean, no woman in her right mind would tolerate for a minute, let alone, you know, whatever. And again, you brought this man around your children who you knew was unstable in his word, unstable and 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 willing to ghost you and didn't want you to be friends with the ex-wife for the benefit of the children, yet and still you still thought that this was a good relationship foundation that you were going to continue to try to um what's the word cultivate you know behind all this this put togetherness and the cute outfits and shit is some fugaziness it's some much needed therapy sis I wasn't sure if I was recording. I'm like, wait a minute. Um, I think I'm going to end it here because I got another video I want to do of hers. And that's that on that. Um, What else was I going to say? You know what? Let me listen to just a few minutes more because I had something else to say. It's either me or her. So, of course, I took, I took his side. I sent her this big, huge, long text, and I was just like, hey, we can't be friends anymore. I don't want to be around you. If it has nothing to do with the kids, then me and you were done. I just knew that I wasn't being true with myself because in all the time that I've known her, she's never done me wrong. And I'm always the type I need to find out for myself. I don't just listen to other people. Just because you don't like somebody over here doesn't mean I need to go over there and not like them too. We're grown up people, we're grown women, and I can see for myself whether or not. Save hundreds. Sorry, y'all, it's the commercial. Okay. She's a good person or a bad person, and she had never done me wrong. Um, and like I said, it was just really hard for me to write that letter to her. And it just wasn't me. It wasn't genuine. It really wasn't me. It just, I just made myself sick emotionally for.
succumbing to what he wanted it just made me sick it really made me sick to write that letter to her so she just wrote me back she was like girl she's like i already see it you're believing all his lies this man and his lies that he doesn't even know he's lying about i started over the months i started kind of drifting away from i started seeing more and more red flags and i started kind of advocating for myself and having more to say in our relationship because of all the red flags that i had been seeing and me and her slowly became friends again and thank god she didn't like tell me oh no i'm done with you you said you were done with me so i'm done with you you can't come back it's not easy like that thank god you know she was the bigger person and she was there for me and so we were friends so shoot forward to a couple days before valentine's day she had offered to babysit for us and i thought this man wasn't gonna like that but he wanted to do that he said it was okay for his ex-wife to babysit my girls so me and him can go on a date so me and him made plans i got my outfit ready i was so excited because we hadn't been on a date in a long time i woke up valentine's morning and i didn't see any messages from him so i was like oh he's probably still sleeping come noon this is a monday come noon i still don't hear anything from him and I'm like, this is weird. Like, and I'm like, no, I'm just gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. He's probably gonna show up on my doorstep with some roses or something. Like, it's Valentine's Day, come on. So I decide to start getting ready around two o'clock. I'm dropping the girls off over at the ex-wife's house, I think at four, no, at six. So I start getting ready. I start post posting cute little pictures on my stories of my outfit. You guys are hyping me up and telling me I look so cute and everything. Come 5, th 5, 5.30, I still haven't heard from him. And I'm like, there's no way he's ghosting me on Valentine's Day. Like, there's no way. There's no way. Come on. It's Valentine's Day, you guys. And I start to head over to ex-wife's house. I was like, I started crying to her. And I was like, I actually haven't heard it from him all day today. And she was like, oh my God. She's like, it's a holiday. I, she's like, this is what he does on holidays. And I was like, yeah, I'm starting to see that. So I still left the kids over there, went to my house, crawled in my bed and cried. Oh, I get it. I get it. We're women. Oh my God. I get it. Um, yeah. Because I still had hope that this asshole was still going to show up on Valentine's Day. And he didn't. So I went to pick the kids up. I'm a sucker for tears, y'all. I'm a sucker. I gotta get back on my, my, um, <laughs> my Kevin Samuel. And that was my Valentine's Day. <laughs> but I got like an hour and a half of good crying sleep and crying sleeps the best sleep ever and i didn't hear from him until thursday valentine's day was on a monday i didn't hear from him until thursday he and i asked him about valentine's day and he said well why didn't you call me and i said why didn't i call you like he just thought nothing of it he didn't think he did anything so i'm done with this um it's the mind games for me it's the um the need to, I don't know, to have a man at all costs. I, I don't know what the fuck. Because maybe because I don't stick around for bullshit. I have low tolerance. Um. So, yeah, on that note, I'm going to end this video. And in the words of, um, I don't know. Oh, in the words of, <laughs> in the words of Kevin Samuels, what the French Toast man. <laughs> I know this is her life. It's not a game. It's not a joke. Um, but you know, as women, we gotta make better decisions. Like this whole just really quick, this whole Roe v. Wade thing is gonna put a lot of shit into perspective. You know, and it's the responsibility is going to fall back on the woman to make sure that you have your ass on birth control or you make sure that ninja has a condom on. 
whether you agree with it or not, agree with Roe v. Wade or not or whatever, agree with abortion or you don't, that's your business. But I'm just saying, um, you know, marry before you carry. Marry before you carry. Get that ring, girl. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Uh, 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 uh. So, you know, it's a choice. It's a choice to be a baby mother. I know because I'm one twice over. How you doing? <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, I got one more video of hers. I'm going to go over real quick. And on that note, peace out.